Ben, drop the weapon! This is a shorter video and there are some talking points here, but we have some questions first and we may not have the answers. For example, why is this guy with two knives so close to this police officer? I'm assuming that the vehicle he got out of was the vehicle behind him, about 20 feet behind him. How did he manage to close 20 feet of distance to the police officer with two knives in his hand? What was she doing or lack thereof that allowed him to get this close? coming out of his vehicle did he expose those knives as he was getting out or did he pull them out of some kind of back pocket uh, is that why he was able to close that distance we don't know the answers to these questions but now we take the video for what it is we have a man that is about i'd say seven to eight feet away from the police officer with two knives in his hands she has her gun drawn and she is trying to give him commands to either put the knives down or keep his distance however he's not paying attention to that Obviously, I'm not a police officer, so I'm just going to give you guys what I would have done from a tactical stance. I would not have allowed him to get to so close to me as a police officer. I would have drawn my gun probably way earlier if I saw him get out of the vehicle with two knives. When you are in a close retention kind of scenario, which this can be almost close retention because we see how quickly he got to the police officer. You notice how he closes distance quickly because he doesn't have to deviate his path because she didn't deviate her path. And so now he's right, she's right in the line of fire for him, not just for his body being the projectile, but also the knives that are in her hand. Also, when she did take shots, she took as many shots as she could, but she got nervous. You could see how her hands were coming off the gun a few times after throughout those couple shots that she took. And at some point, he got so close that it looks like she limp-wristed her gun and she had like a stovepipe or a failure to eject or extract. But she had to then, you know, perform immediate action, get the gun back up. Luckily, she hit the guy once or twice enough for him to stop in his tracks, demobilize him, and also for him to pick up the knives. That bought her time as well, where she was able to tap rack, get her gun back up, and take follow-on shots more accurately. But these are learning points that we need that we need to be discussing with the police officers in our department, or if you're a training officer, talking about going straight to the rear is not a good thing to do if you have room to your left and right. Offset, offset your path. Get off that X, but get off that X in a offset direction, not directly to the rear. Also, you don't know what kind of real estate is to your rear. What if you ran into a, a curb or you ran into something else and now this guy is on top of you with two knives? Two, spatial awareness. Always be aware of what's to your left, your right, and behind you and know which directions you can move in so you're not bumping into things or falling behind you, running into a curb or something. Three, shooting cadence. Shooting cadence is important because it allows you to repeat a process during a certain time window, which is equaling to predictability over time and experience. And therefore, that gives you the comfortability of actually having a shooting cadence so that your mind can open up to other things that you may have to do. You're not thinking about pulling that trigger so much as you are two to three steps ahead of what happens when I continue to pull this trigger and move to a said direction. And the last point I'm going to cover here is just confidence. Confidence in your equipment, confidence in your demeanor, confidence in your commands, and confidence in your overall presence, which will then sometimes will mitigate or hinder with a bad guy, you know, from thinking about attacking you or picking a time window to now, you know, pull a move on you. It's the confidence in all these things that lead to somebody actually listening to you and not trying to pull a fast one on you when they think you're not looking. All right, guys, that is it for this video breakdown. Hopefully there was some tidbits of information in there to kind of help you get thinking about, you know, the type of training that you may actually need to do on the range when it comes to retention shots, when it comes to getting off the X, spatial awareness, situational awareness. And if you're a police officer, you need to work on that confidence and that command presence. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so that you can be alerted to when we post videos, and don't forget to go on to 2AlphaTrainingGroup.com, sign up for the newsletter so that you can be updated on all of our new courses, events, and new apparel as well. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.